a semi carry depends yeah. on how you want to play it. So it's not very often, as of recent, at least that I recall, that we got to see a Wind Ranger going up against a Razor potentially in this mid lane. So will she have the answer to this? It was that I believe MLG when he picked up the clinks. Nope. No one expected Sing him to Sing pick up in the, the mid clinks. lane gets entangled, taking a lot of damage. The Fisher coming Whoa. through as well. Fy on the backside, and Silar gets it done. Smoke uh, early on, but this is what they want to do. They're going to go to the high ground here. Going to bring the bear back in the concussive shot, but there's the Fisher to land. Is Pilai die blocked in? It looks like he is going to eat his tree. Creeps. No, he gets through. He eats the tree. Well played, Arcane Bolt. The gush from Bone Seventy's got anchor smash. Shackle shot will latch. Silar's on the tree will fall. Great rotation from Sing Sing, but there's more heroes in toe super ready to go now backing away they say with this heavy push pace that they've been doing a lot through this whole tournament just like that this tier 2 tower very very weak there goes the fisher if they can catch envy they will take it the ages will have to be used here super eating a lot of tower damage jump in boat 7 ravage though quick mech to save super who tries to turn it back boat 7 very weak forced to retreat eternal envy eating a lot of damage himself no casualties yet here silar very low runs back those birds laying out the damage fy though eats the soul assumption from and ravage if they want to make a go at it yeah this is gonna be big blink ravage and the mystic flare rotk gets blown up now it's Retreat time for Vichy Gaming, maybe. Fisher, the War Trap, sixing in AUI 2000, getting low as well, getting chased down. AUI taking the right click. EE has a double damage rune. They could fight this, but the bear coming in with the Radiance Burn. They're too fragile. They're ready to jump in. Bone 7, he has the Blink Dagger. Fisher going through on EE now, getting X up. BKB from Super Fen. We're getting blown up. Not dead yet, but the Mystic Flare goes after Aegis goes through. Super trying to zap some heroes down. They will get the Venomancer on the backside. EE pops his BKB. There's the Static Link going through as well. Now a lot of his damage is gone. Pylai died dead as well. EE -E trying to run away, but he can't make it out. He's going to get right clicked, and Super will get a double kill on the backside. Sing Sing getting trapped up, but they've already taken three down. There's the Serpent Wards just getting back on line. Shackle Shot not connecting. AUI 2000 still alive, but only for a moment longer. It's three for three. TP's out of blood. Um, but Looks like a uh, gank coming through. Gank train, in fact, from Vichy Gaming. EE -E backing up right now. He's got his BKB. He might have to use it. The silence coming through. Ravage as well. This one on target. Super getting low. Pops the BKB. There's the second Ravage. Silar dead immediately. ROTK gets it off. EE -E trying to TP away. Will not make it out in time. A great start to the fight, but maybe a really poor end. Now Super getting right click down. Still alive. Sing Sing misses the power shot. They will grab another kill. EE -E buys back. Super Medallion is up on him. He's getting chased down, but still alive. On the backside, ROTK. Getting. But now they realize that they can't really get much done there. Oh, there's the Serpent Wards, and here we go. A fight's going to have to break out here, but EE -E just picking off all of these wards quickly. But the Tier 3 tower is going to go. There's the Ravage coming through. Now Bone 7 hexed up. The Ravage didn't do much. Super now licking all of that damage. EE -E getting chased down. Super extending a little too far in. And he's got the cheese as well. Important to note, AUI 2000. There's the second Ravage. Now Super will fall. Cannot get the cheese off. There's the Echo Slam from FY. Silar trying to back away. Concussive shot coming through. FY has the Ghost after Sing Sing. Getting low. Will die. Gets a double kill. The Fisher coming out. They get the Tier 3 Tower. The buyback from AU AUI 2000 as well. It's a 3 for 3 trade. Now everyone from VG buys out. They want to try to take this Rax. They say, listen, this is our time. There is a buyback from both Pylai Dai as well as Sing Sing, but no double Ravage. And Serpent Wards, they'll be up kind of soon, about in a minute, so... Oh boy. That was very promising there for Bone7. I mean, it was very convenient timing for that Refresher Orb to come off the cooldown to get the second one off, and that was enough to take Radiant Super Tartal down. And as you can see, Pylai Dai knows that the salt keeps coming, so they're forced to pull out not one, but two buybacks. Rack's going to be under threat here as they're looking to push on forward. Eternal Envy zapped up the damage, is being taken away in the shivas as he pushes on forward. Eternal Envy forced to retreat to the fountain. Bone7 buys back after being taken down. Super, a one-man army pushing on through, getting help with Sila, but they step back, looking to make it go on the Racks. They do lose a casualty in the Fenrir Shadow Shaman. Now ROTK going to be shackled up against the wall and Bone 7 looking to bring him down. The Fissure Block on his own ally. He can't quite get away and he will fall to the gush. Now the bear, the next target. One Rax had fallen. Eternal Envy steps forward, looking to defend, and it looks like VG Gaming are going to be pulling back. to fight this now. Super realizes that, hey, they don't have the BKB on EE. This is this is our time to go. Sheba's Guard going as well. FY getting stunned up. Nice Visage Birds, but EE falling low. Taking a lot of damage to the right click. Should be enough for Super to get the kill. Kill. Down for 100 seconds. Dope. He buys right back. Here we go. Bone 7 Ravage. It only hits on one. It's super. Refresher's up now. The Mystic Flare. That one will hit on ROTK. The Hex is up on Bone 7. Here comes Sing Sing Fenrir with the Ghost Scepter again. The Gush on ROTK. The Anchor Smash. They do get the ult off. FY with the Fisher. Silar coming in as well with the Bear. Sing Sing getting caught out. Getting entangled up. Bone 7 will TP away. Sing Sing not so lucky. He'll fall. A 2 for 2 trade. Buyback 4th. You know, to step back and just kind of clear it out. And 
BG Gaming doing a nice job picking an assault. ROTK gets hexed up. There's the jump in. Bone 7 comes out with the Ravage refresh, but he's hexed up right now. Super gets off the BKB in time. Only four seconds though to work with. Shivas, and there we go. The second Ravage does land because the duration's so low. There's the cheese pop on Bone 7. Silar shackled up. There comes CDC. Looking to blast it forward as he comes off from the buyback. But Red, we're looking to make his escape. But Owie! About to come up, but they're going to fight anyways. EE. Another four step coming through. Fenrir getting blown up the ghost step. They're not saving him. Echo slam, but only on Pile I Die. He's dead again. Now, Sing Sing and EE trying to fight it up. The bear getting brought down, but so is Super as well. Mech going. There's the refresher. Now you have a dead, dead Razor. Siler getting brought down as well. FY's done. Four down, and all of a sudden. Yeah, that was fantastic. A very strange game to watch as well. Back and forth. At times, you were just kind of like, well, you know, I don't think this is going to go their way, and all of a sudden, it turns around. Uh, Vici Gaming, they've. They had the opportunity early on to get...